Well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight you're in for a big treat. We have a special visitor tonight. He's a visitor from the East. He's a sage, soothsayer, and seer, all-knowing, all-omniscient, and the former ethics professor for Miley Cyrus, Karnak the Magnificent. No, no, Karnak, this way, over here. Okay, right. Good. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. Don't judge him just yet. Wait till the end of the act. You don't know what my camel eats. All right. Now, Karnak. Yes. Yeah. In my hand, I hold the envelopes. The child of four can plainly see that these envelopes are hermetically sealed. They've been kept in a, in a mayonnaise jar on Kevin Doherty's porch since noon today. Yeah. No one knows the contents of these envelopes, but you, in your divine wisdom, will ascertain the answers to the questions that are in these envelopes, having never been seen before seen. In other words, I'll give you these envelopes and you'll tell me what the answer is before seeing it. I will? Yes. Oh, I will. Of course I will. I and so let's try this out. Great. Karnak, I have. Your first envelope. The first envelope. Oh, yes. The answer is a mistress and an Olympic judge. Isn't that a Russian Olympic judge? Oh, it could be a Russian Olympic judge. <laughs> mistress and a Russian, Russian Olympic, Olympic judge. judge. <laughs> oh, let's see. The answer was, uh, the question was, describe two people who like to cheat. Mistress and... Alright, we'll try another one, Carla. Let's try another one. <laughs> we need to rise. Okay. 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 Sorry. Alright, I'm divining this one. Oh, this is kind of bright. Uh, a full moon. A full moon. A full moon. <laughs> the question was... What would you see if Cliff Muller dropped his pen? Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, darn it. Oh. So I'm going there. Let's keep on a roll. I your next oh, one. No, I'm going to keep that one. All right. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm dividing this one. This one is, uh, 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 yes, a little different, but this, this involves everyone, I believe. The American people. The answer, the American people. That's the answer, the American people. Sealed hermetically. Since noon today. The question was, name the loser in the 2012 presidential race. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's your next envelope card. He will divine the answer to this question without ever having before seen the question. Thank God we're not going to have to use that last one next year. <laughs> the next year. Okay, the answer on this one was, oh, oh, this is nice. Blue Goose. Blue Goose. Yes, Blue Goose. Do you? Yeah. The Blue Goose. We're trying to get in there. Okay, the question was, describe a sad Bruce Evans. <laughs> we have three guys who got it. Karnak, <laughs> here is your next envelope. Karnak can only divine them. He can't fix them. Okay. All right. A triple, a double, a catcher, and a fielder, and Dolly Parton. Wait a minute. That's, that, that's, say that again. A catcher, a, a catcher, a triple and a double. A triple and a double. Yeah. A, a, a catcher and a fielder. Catcher and a fielder. Yes. And Dolly Parton. And Dolly Parton. That, that's what I thought. We're ready now. I, I hope it's right. Catcher and a fielder. Catcher, triple, triple and a double. Okay. And the question was, name two big hits, two big mitts, and a famous country singer. <laughs> 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 
Okay. Oh, this is fairly good. Ben Gay. Ben Gay. Ben Gay, oh magnificent largeness. Ben Gay. Thank Here you, Carnax. Here we go. And, oh man, I tore most of the question up. Why didn't Miss Franklin have any kids? Blame it on Carnax. I'm free. I think we better move along. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is this is a very wise here. This is a wise one. It says, "Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition." Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. Yes. Got it. Uh, what's the best thing to do if you swallow a hand grenade? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay. I don't need to explain it. I have a few left. Should I go to the last envelope? Oh, sorry, not enough. We're going to go out here. Here, okay. The answer is crab grass. Crab grass. Crab grass. Sealed up pretty good. What do crabs get high on? Crab grass. What's that? Man, your cologne smell like a thousand camels. Okay, I'm dividing this. Uh, Todd Bender, Jack Davis, and crabs. Todd Bender. Jack Davis and Krabs. Yes, I don't know why Thornock is stuck on Krabs tonight, but Pop Ender, Jack Davis, and Krabs. And the question was, that was the answer, this is the question. Oh, Karnak. Uh, okay, we didn't put a question in this one. There it is. No, that's not it. Yes. Name a winner, a grinner, and a good dinner. <laughs> we may make it through this. Hey, yeah, you, you, right. Here's your next you know, I know some riders that aren't coming. Okay. <laughs> a full choke. A full choke. Full choke. Full choke. Not a modified. Not a modified. Full choke. A full choke. The question was Describe Dutching on Station 6 the last round. <laughs> Only Karnak knew the answers here. Remember that. Okay, only Karnak. And in my hand, ladies and gentlemen, I hold the last envelope. May the bird of paradise leave a little something for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I started, I've got to define it first for our read. Let's see. A cheetah. No, no. No. Bird again. No egg. No. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, it's cheetah. Uh, Wayne Mays and Barack Obama. That's what I'm saying. Cheetah, Wayne Mays, and Barack, Barack Obama. Obama. Yes, of course. You got it. Cheetah, Wayne Mays, and Barack Obama. And a chimp, a champ, and a chump. Okay. Thank you.